everyone. Welcome to yet another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara and today we'll be reviewing the movie, a Korean movie. You can find it on Netflix, I'm sorry. It's a 2016 movie but it is timeless. Named Train to Busan. I'll see you on the other side after the highlights of the movie. Thank you. <laughs> Busan was made with 8.5 million dollars and in the box office rose up to 98.5 million dollars it is a success it has been a success and will continue to be a success as a matter of fact a lot of Korean dramas or movies are yet to rival Train to Busan and it is that brilliant director all times Yeon Sang Ho that directed this amazing movie. The Train to Busan has amazing actors and actresses like Gong Yo, Ma Dong Sook, Jung Gyo Mi, Kim Song Han, Kim Yoon Song, Ko Woo Sook, Hang Song Hye. In this movie you will see it started in a very slow paced manner and if you have not heard about Train to Busan, you will just think it's one of those proverbial Korean movies that are just slow paced moving and all of that until it hits you BAM and like oh my god jeez what is this? Train to Busan is an amazing movie. If I viewed Hashtag Alive as well as other Korean movies, I just felt that you know my channel would not be complete without Train to Busan however late this review is. If you haven't still seen it, I would encourage you to see the movie. This movie is about a dad who is divorced from his wife. His wife is in Busan and um, he is in Seoul. Um, the financial security expert, he trades in stock and all of that. Now, he has a daughter and his daughter just keeps on to go see her mom and she feels her dad is, doesn't care about her or gives her as much attention as she deserves and then he has his old mother who tells him that he should patch up with his wife and be more into the needs of his daughter but then the next day was his daughter's birthday he decides to agree to the request of sending her to Busan for a few days with his ex-wife to say now as they were going he begins to notice some things it happens that one of the companies is responsible for a meeting some chemical substances and all of that and one of his colleagues is asking him whether it was their fault that this thing happened so they are watching people are turning into zombies and all that curiously everyone on the train has one story or the other not necessarily a story but their lifestyle they have this pregnant couple we have two old sisters you have some high school students who are going to play a match in Busan we have a lot of people who have this guy who is the CEO of the train of the train itself, the particular train he was going to Busan, he said he has his mom, his mom is waiting for him and, you know, a middle aged man and so many people with one thing or the other, one desperation or the other, so you know, he wanted to get his child to Busan to be with his wife and then he's calling people to ask, is Busan safe? So later on the train got infected by just one lone person that entered the train and what you're seeing in Train to Busan is right for survival the fight to survive the fight to escape that cannibalism of the zombies and all of that and then furthermore we'll see the train to busan became a reality why people feel it is an unforgettable movie is that even the main lead did not make it out of the whole thing it's action-packed and it's a movie you will want to see the effects were off the hook of the chart it's a movie like none other it's a movie in a class of its own it's a movie where you would want to take lessons on how to position your camera to get the best effects ever everything the story told just like the way the director does it and he always does it in all his movies just like he did 
read it in Hellbound, you would see how good he is in projecting what you want to see. Train to Busan is a movie that will keep you stuck to your seat at the edge of your seat and you would not want the movie to end. It's not a TV drama. So which brings me to the end of this movie review. I would encourage you to see this movie if you haven't seen it, Train to Busan, but you can find it on Netflix. I think you'll find it on Kiss Asian or Drama Code. Yeah. So I'll be rating it a 10 over 10. Um, thank you so much for doing this with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit on the subscribe button. Turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos just come up up there you'll see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigerian movie reviews and then my movie reviews thank you so so very much for doing this with me i'll see you next time bye thank you so much bye